Hi, I'm Kirsten Amen. I'm with the Boston chapter of Ladies United for the Preservation of Endangered Cocktails. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a daisy. So the daisy is a cocktail that um, flourished for quite a while and then practically died out before it came back, roaring back to popularity, um, albeit in a very different form. So the original recipe was actually made with base spirit, any kind, uh, gin, whiskey, um, rum, brandy, <clears throat> and orange cordial with gum syrup, which is a thick, simple syrup that's made with a little bit of gum arabic and with lemon, and then finished with a little bit of soda. So that drink was very popular, and then over time it evolved into something that um, David Wondrich, who is a cocktail historian, terms uh, something of a dude's drink, impinkened with grenadine and tricked out with fruit. So the latter one, the, more, um, the later version, is the one I'm going to show you how to make today. However, it is worth noting that the original um, recipe, the one with the orange cordial and the citrus, um, is something that was also in circulation. They were both popular right up until Prohibition. And then sometime after Prohibition, a drink called a tequila daisy started appearing in Mexico, and then from Mexico as far away as New York State. Um, and it's interesting to note also that the Spanish word for daisy is margarita. So there's, a, there's some speculation and good reason to believe that those drinks are actually cousins. Anyway, on to our dude's drink. So the way you make this cocktail is with crushed ice. You want to start by filling the glass with as much as you can, just packing it up. Okay, nice and full. Then we're going to add our gin. I use a dry gin. I'm going to use an ounce and a half of that. We'll use an ounce of lemon juice, which I've gone ahead and pre-squeezed. Um, and the way I did that was using my hand juicer and fresh lemon. So you can easily do it at home, like so. Uh, Pre-juicing is a good idea if you want to make a lot of cocktails, if you're having guests over, um, if you drink cocktails often at home, and just like to have it on hand in your fridge. Fresh squeezed juice will last about a day and a half before it gets really acidic and gross. After adding our lemon, we're going to add a quarter ounce each of grenadine, which is a pomegranate simple syrup, basically. You always want to use fresh grenadine at home or wherever because it, it leaps and bounds in flavor beyond the stuff that comes in a prefabricated bottle and is filled with red dye number five and all kinds of other ingredients. And then we'll add simple syrup, which is just sugar and water. I'm actually going to add a little tiny splash more grenadine on the fly because I like my drink sweet. There we go. So now that that's done, we're going to give the glass a quick stir. One, two. <clears throat> and that's going to make the outside get all frosty, which is what we want. Then we're going to add our final ingredient, which is soda water. Lengthen the drink out a little bit. And finally, I'm going to garnish with a sprig of fresh mint. There you have a typical daisy.